Glory to Jesus. Good morning once again. I welcome everyone. This is a special day God has set for us. He has brought us to his banquet for a feast of fat things. A feast of fat things. A feast of divine empowerment, illumination, strength, that will bring about perfection, settlement, and all that he longs to see happen in our life in the course of this year. Every day of these ongoing 21 days is unique in its packaging, unique in its content. You need each day. You need each day. It's my prayer that you will receive all that is packaged into this day, that you receive all that is the content of this day, because they are essential in the fulfillment of God's divine plan for your life. Without taking time, I want to invite the guest speaker for today, a very dear friend, God's servant, Esther Brink. Woman of God, please, the platform is set for you, who lost through as the Lord leads you. Go ahead, ma. Thank you, Pastor Light. I really praise the Lord. Father, according to Psalm 18, we set ourselves towards you. Mm. We say, I love you, O Lord, my strength. Mm. We declare that you are the Lord, our rock and our fortress and our deliverer. You are the God of our strength and whom we will trust, even in this prayer hour. You are the shield and the horn of our salvation. You are our stronghold. This is the God on whom we are calling, who is worthy to be praised. And so we will be saved from our enemies. Father, and as we gather this morning, according to Psalm 18, verse 13, we say and ask that you would thunder from heaven. That you, the God most high, will utter your voice. Hailstones and coals of fire would destroy your enemies. That you would send out your arrows and scatter your foe. Lightning in abundance and that you would vanquish them. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you, Father. And we thank you for that. Will you lead us now? For this uh, session this morning, our nation's focus will be on Europe, but first we will have a little bit of time just to set our hearts before the Lord. And um, as I've um, prepared for this morning, I just saw this picture of our hearts being like a scroll. And every time we set ourselves before the Lord in prayer, it is like this scroll opens before him. And he stretches out his hand and he begins to write his thoughts, his understandings, his, his desires, his passions on our heart. And it ignites in us. And these letters, as he writes it on the tablet of our heart, just ignite and come alive. And it become prayers that goes back to him. So I chose for this morning the different types of crowns that we receive as we um will one day lay down our lives and we will be with the Lord. There are different crowns that we can receive and we can only prepare for them in this life. So the first one that I want to touch on is called the crown of life. It's also called the martyr's crown. And we read of this in James 1.12 and Revelation 2.10. And it comes to those who persevere under trials. And my sister has shared so beautifully just before how we sometimes face trials and we do not know why there's not a breakthrough. But the Lord calls us. There is a special crown if you go through something like this. There's a special crown if you persevere. So let us lift up our own lives before the Lord and the lives of our loved ones that we know they are going through trials. Some are in situations where they fear for their life because they are Christians or they are scorned because they are following Jesus. So even until the point of death, let us pray for God to give us strength and let us lift up these two verses. 
Let us Father, pray together. Jesus, Father, we bring before you James 1 and 12 that says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation. For when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Father, I pray that you will strengthen us. We will endure temptations, temptations to give good, temptations to let go, temptations to learn a way, temptations not to pray. All yeah. kinds of situations yes, and things that, that you would grant us, grant us faith, grant us strength, and we will take care of it. Lord, whatever comes our way, we are blessed. We will not be strong. We are away from you, and we will stand in faith. We will keep this time in faith. We will keep the crown of faith. We will keep this before us. We will keep the crown of faith. Father, we pray for the Thank you, Father God, for this grace to endure for the comfort of the living and the living will come. Yes, I want to thank you all for the Lord who has touched your heart, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Help us, God, to endure, mighty God. Help us, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father. This brings us to the next one that is uh, mentioned in Scripture. It says it's the incorruptible crown. It's also known as the imperishable crown. And we read of it in 1 Corinthians 9.25. That says, and everyone who competes for a prize is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. So here we find out that when we deny ourselves, when we press through, these are so interlinked. We do not realize it, but these things are what bears us crowns, it's built, it's created, it's formed in heavenly places that one day when we are there, we can receive these crowns. We can only work on them now in the way we deny ourselves for the kingdom, in the way we persevere in prayer, in faith, and in helping others. So let us pray now that God will pour out upon us a fresh understanding of the rewards of heaven in the things we are going through and that we would not look to the things so much to have them be removed from us, but realize they are building into us this reward to receive the incorruptible crown. Let us pray for that. Father, in the name that is thank you, me. Father. We bring before you, thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh my King, thank Lord. Lord. Thank we don't God. realize thank that we must Lord deny God ourselves. Give me the fresh understanding. It's hard to deny yourself. It's hard to say no. But then you want to deny yourself. Just deny yourself. 
is from this world. I look at you from a world in perspective. But you are inviting us to look at things from a heavenly so that we make the aim be uploaded by man. in Jesus mighty name thank you father Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I come before you on this topic. And Lord, we confess today that often we are looking at things we don't have. Often we look at things we desire. Lord, but you call us into a special place to have more of you. There must be less of the world to walk in greater power and anointing. We cannot do all the things that is permissible for others, Lord. You're calling us into a deeper place of consecration this year. Father, I pray right now in Jesus' name, you will anoint us with your Holy Spirit to lay down the things of this life, even things that is not wrong, but things that take up time, things that take up our attention, things that take up our desire, things that take up our um, focus in the name of Jesus, things that are distractions, Lord, not bad things, but they are distractions for us to spend more time with you so we can be dedicated before you. I pray in Jesus' name, you will help us to obtain in this life, day after day, the honor to receive the incorruptible crown. Lord, then we come before you also. There is the crown of righteousness. And it is uh, written of in 2 Timothy 4 verse 8, where it says, Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but also those who have loved his appearing. Now, this is so fascinating, you know. If you think about church and, and, and the preachings we receive, and even those of us who are responsible to, to share messages, how many times do we speak and uh, um, encourage people to prepare themselves for the second coming of Jesus? Now, when we do this, we are rated to qualify for the crown of righteousness. It is just so amazing and we don't think about it. Even recently, I was just made aware of this scripture again. So let us pray today that in our messages, we will prompt people not only to live for this life, we are waiting for Jesus to come back and to fetch us and to rule and reign with him forever and ever. So let us pray that we will have a fresh anointing, a fresh touch of his glory to 
preach the second coming of Jesus and the expectancy that our God is alive and is coming for us. This life is not the final destination. Let us pray. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus, the way Jesus, we Jesus, we preach, the way we preach, the way we preach, the richness, we share the gospel. That was your name, is Jehovah. Thank you, Abba, Father. Your name is Jehovah. Thank you, Abba, Father. Your name is Jehovah. Thank you, Abba, Father. 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 No God, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have both of the kingdom of the second oh, yes, Lord. of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Mighty God, who will intimately meet and spend time with the mighty Buddha in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are the mighty In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. We are the mighty Buddha. We Thank you, King of Kings. We bless you. We honor you, my God. My name is you, my Thank you, Father. We 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your goodness and mercy. We declare Psalm 71, 16. We will go in the strength of the Lord. We will keep on making mention of your righteousness and of yours only. Father, fill our mouths with a message of Jesus' return. And hasten, hasten your coming, Lord. Put a desire in our hearts to look forward, to have a fresh remembrance of your coming. Psalm 71, 19, your righteousness, O Lord, is very high. You have done great things. 71 verse 24, my tongue will speak of your righteousness all the day long, all the day long, Lord, in Jesus' name, that you will come and judge your people with righteousness. Father, we thank you that mercy and truth will meet together. Righteousness and peace will kiss. Psalm 85, 10 and 11, truth will spring out out of the earth righteousness shall look down from heaven righteousness will go before you and make your footsteps our pathway lord jesus as you will return as you will come as you will reveal yourself to this world and every eye will see your coming lord it will be known from the east to the west and from the north to the south in the twinkling of an eye every eye will see you no one no one will escape the day of your coming i pray for the fear of the lord to baptize our hearts lord to baptize our hearts while there is still time with the fear of the lord of your coming the fear of your return, Lord. There's a little fear, Lord, forgive us for not realizing that you are coming back. And when you come, it will be too late. When you come, Lord, our time will be finished to do what we are doing. Oh, that we may be found busy with the things of your heart, that we may be found busy with things that will come out as gold and not stubble and straw and wood that can be burned in the fire. We pray this in the name of Jesus, baptize us. Also in this point, I want us to pray, especially for um, our personal relationship with the Lord. You know, that intimacy with God, if we have that cultivated in our hearts, we will feel his longing for the bride. And not just the bride things that we preach every day, the longing to be united with her in his return. So let us pray for our personal intimacy with the Lord. Sometimes you sit, you just stare in front of you and you're not connecting with God. Other times you sit and you just mention all your problems and all our uh, um, prayer requests from uh, before him. This is not wrong. It's not wrong at all. And he commands us to tell him all the things of our hearts. But there is a place that we must enter and ask the Lord in 2023 to increase our capacity. And that is to minister to him and to connect with him and to just worship him because he's God and not because he can do something for us. Just worship him because he's worthy. Let us pray for a few minutes just about our capacity to walk with God like Enoch did. Enoch walked with God. He wasn't just about ministry. There's a personal, intimate relationship. Let us pray about that to increase in our lives this year. Father, in the name that is above all, Lord, we receive. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray, Lord, that in 2023, Father, may we have that faith. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, that we have that faith. In 2023, Lord, Father, I in the name of Jesus, Lord, 
Oh yes, Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory. We honor you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We worship you. In Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, will you come in this year and bring sweet fellowship between us and you like we have experienced never before. And even those who walk with you, Lord, that does feel that fellowship, I pray that the capacity to remain in fellowship with you every day will increase in all our lives. In Jesus' name. The next crown that we read of is called the crown of glory. And in the same way that a clergyman like administers confirmation to a confirmant, this crown of glory is spoken of in 1 Peter 5, verse 2 to 4. And it's given to those who shepherd the flock with unselfish love and setting a good example. So if you are someone, maybe you are a pastor, maybe you are just someone that's responsible for a Bible study group, you are just responsible for a prayer group, you're just responsible for your family. In one way or another, all of us are a shepherd and all of us as a flock, <laughs> even if it's just one little sheep, that the Lord um, give us the privilege to impact through our lives. Now, this crown of glory, you can only uh, work for, if I can say it like that, we can only obtain it when we are unselfish. When we put others first, when we don't expect others to do everything for us and all the time serve us, but when we become the servant, when we start to wash feet, I just think of um, Pastor Light, we had a discussion yesterday, and I just admire the work of the Holy Spirit in his life and his, his selfless love and passion for people. Thank you for that example. Let us learn from him and from one another. Each one of us is something like that. Let us pray for our capacity to be unselfish and to love and serve others, whether they deserve it or not, whether they are good towards us or not, whether they bless us or not, even if they give you lots of nonsense. <laughs> Think of Moses, to be like Moses. He had a lot, he had two million Israelites giving him nonsense. So let us pray the Holy Spirit in us and through our leadership will instill servant unselfish love and that we will be good examples and not like many in the church let us pray together 
Father, in the name that is above all name, we come before you. Lord, we come before you. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh yes, Lord, we come before your throne this morning. Father, we keep us before you. We turn our that to be good shepherds, Father, to our own of your people. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray that we come to our own name as you because we are in the name of Father. Oh, Father God, I pray that we will not be selfish in the name of Jesus. I pray for unselfish in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. I pray that I will not be selfish in the name of Jesus. I will not for some shepherd. May we understand Lord, but I will do everything willingly, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Father. Oh, yes, Lord. Serve your people to be humble. Lord, show us how to handle the difficult ones like mm. you would have handled. Give us a heart after your own heart for the ones who gives us trouble, Lord. I pray for a special anointing to be Jesus to those who are not displaying the fruit of the Spirit towards us in this year so we might all obtain the crown of glory in Jesus name. The last one of the crowns that I want to touch today is the crown of rejoicing. Um, it's explained in 1 Thessalonians 2.19 and Philippians 4.1 and it's given to people who engage in evangelism outside the church. You know, um, we preach the gospel in the church but the people coming to church uh, maybe once or twice there would be an individual not knowing Jesus, but the people we should pray or evangelize is outside. So I am challenged afresh. Do I put out tracts? I have started in uh, November, December, putting out tracts, thousands. The fruit on my own heart of just being obedient to the call of evangelism, sitting in a restaurant, asking someone if you die today, where are you going? I asked this to a man. He said to me, oh, I have diabetes in this level. And I said, so if, you, if God doesn't heal you and you die, where are you going? He said to me, nobody has ever asked me that. So this is my prayer right now that we will pray. God will anoint us afresh as leaders, as Christians, to do something Personally, maybe you say, I'm not the evangelist. You don't need to be evangelist. You just need to be obedient to the basic call of sharing your faith. 
and ask the Holy Spirit to give you a point of connection. Let us pray with fervency. If you are not a preacher or someone who wants to testify, there are several places I can give you the contact details. We have developed tracts. You can just place them in strategic places. You don't have to open your mouth, but we cannot do nothing. And we must tell others to do the same. Otherwise, this crown will be missing from us when we get to heaven. And we don't want to miss out on any crowns. So let us pray right now for a fresh baptism of evangelism on our own lives. And that we would preach to others how to share the gospel so they will become testimonies of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And not just going to heaven, but to share that he is alive. He heals the sick, he raises the dead, and he casts out demons through his Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray in this prayer. We are negligent for sharing our testimony. We are negligent. Father, we are sharing our testimony. We are negligent. Father, we are negligent. That is there in our hearts, my Father. That is in the name of Jesus. You will come and baptize us with the Holy Spirit. That is in the name of Jesus. That is in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, thank you. I will use every opportunity to share the in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, thank you for opening our eyes. Thank you for reminding us, oh my God, to share the gospel in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, come to baptize us and my father, I Thank you, Lord. We magnify your name. We glorify you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Your whole life on earth was about souls. Your whole life was about setting people free from ailments, from death, from demons. Father, I pray for a fresh outpouring of your Holy Spirit of convicting our hearts that these three things, at least, if we want to be anything like you and to receive the crown of rejoicing or joy must be part of our lives. I pray for a fresh impetus in all our lives and in all our preaching and in all our sharing and that you will give us testimonies, Lord, that we can share with others that will inspire them to do the same. 
in Jesus' name. Our focus for today is also to pray for Europe. So first of all, I just want to give a short overview. The continent of Europe has got a population an estimate. It is, of course, changing now with all the immigrants coming in. Um, about 700, let's say, and 50 million people. Um, of these in urban areas, 75%, which makes them more accessible to be reached. About 269 languages are spoken in Europe in total, um, in general. And then it is said that 71% of Europe is Christian, but we know that this Christian percentage is not live or a live relationship with God. Of this 2.5% evangelical, um, the largest religion at the moment is Christianity. But I'm telling you, there's an influx of other religions into the area, and it will not look like this five years or 10 years from now. So there is an overall population decline in Europe in many cases. Um, but there's a, a, a strong influx of immigrants from North Africa. They go over to Europe to get something. And we know from the um, war with, between Ukraine and Russia has had a huge impact that is not documented anywhere yet because you can't really document it at the moment it's statistics is like impossible to gather so let us lift up um in general now europe you know i was thinking um last night when i went to bed bed is we think of europe mainly as um white people because of the european nations but i was just thinking when you stand before jesus your color is not mentioned whether you are pink, black, white, yellow, green, or blue, when you stand before Jesus and he is not part of your life, you are not going to heaven. You will not be in heaven. So let us pray, because this is our focus for today, for Europe to have an outpouring of the Holy Spirit to return to Christ. Let us pray for a minute or two. In the name of Jesus, we bring Europe before your throne. In the name of Jesus, we Father, we know for this morning as we come to Europe, in Europe, United Kingdom, Lord, to a man of Lord, was great to jump in with revival. in the name of Jesus, Oh yes, Lord, you will remind us that and a man have moved away from you, to go to a man. Oh, we pray, Osam and a man, to go on a man, that go to in the name of Jesus, have your way, in the United Father in the name of Jesus, we give you honor and take over us in this continent, in the name of Jesus, oh yes, we Next um, nation that I want to lift up, want us to lift up before the Lord is the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom plays a huge role in Europe still, um, and it consists, here you can see the bigger map and the smaller map, the United Kingdom consists of three small, if you want to call it countries, 
Um, it consists of England, as we know, with London at it, as its main town. And then it consists also of Scotland and of Northern Ireland. I didn't know, I don't know why, if you've known that the United Kingdom is these three entities together. And there's a lot of things happening between <laughs> all these states, just as in every other nation. So um, for today, let us lift up the role of United Kingdom. Immigration has been amazing. In London only, over 50 nationalities have communities within the city of at least 10,000 10, people each. And every nationality in the world is somehow represented in, in um, especially London. If you have been there, you will see that it's just like this is a, a world city of all the nationalities. So for anyone doing evangelism in the United Kingdom will be amazing because you're literally touching the nations. So let us pray today when we pray for United Kingdom about these immigrants. Some of them come from nations where the gospel is unavailable, that somehow there will be evangelism reaching out to them so that when they visit the, their home countries, the gospel can go. Many immigrants are from really least evangelized nations. It's an awesome opportunity. However uh, difficult it can be and worldly it can be in London, it is a hub for evangelism. Let's pray for evangelism to, to be refreshed and poured out in the United Kingdom, especially in London, that those working there will have a fresh touch from God to reach out to the immigrants specifically to, to, uh, to uh, bring them the gospel. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up the United Kingdom to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Send again a man missionary's father in the UK to the Lord. Put on one man as a poet on a man as that position for Sam and a man that for the land for Sam is heavy and for our apartment in the name of Jesus. Put on one man. in the name of Jesus, Jesus we give you glory, Lord. We, we give pray you in Jesus', Jesus name. Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Father. Amen. We Amen. worship you. Father, we bring before you Germany. And here you can see the uh, where Germany is situated um, in the picture of Germany. And uh, the same thing is happening here. Even as I said before, it is um, impossible to say what is happening as to immigrants, especially now with a war with Ukraine? This is an enormous, enormous um, opportunity to share the gospel with people. And you know what? The church in Ukraine is actually very strong. So last year when the war came and we asked God, what is happening in Europe? What is taking place? He said to us, I will use this for my glory because the church in Ukraine actually is... Um, very pure in some um, areas, 
And as the people flee into Europe, actually mm -hmm. the gospel is coming from that nation into the nations they are uh, you know, fleeing to. And they will share their stories. And people in, in countries like uh, um, Germany, especially, will hear the gospel in a new way. They will hear testimonies of what God is doing, how he has saved people, how he's provided, how he's multiplied food, how angels has just shielded people. So let us pray right now especially for Germany. You know, Germany is where um, the Bible came from in uh, German, and then it was made available in English. So we, the fact that you have your own Bible in your hand, and you don't have to go to church and hear it in a foreign language on a Sunday, one of the contributions of Germany in the middle uh, centuries is that the Bible became available in the language of an <clears throat> ordinary person on street. So let's give thanks for that and ask that will bear much more fruit. But let's also pray for the people in Germany that they will have fresh encounters with the Lord Jesus Christ. Also the Muslims, there are over 5 million Muslims from over 40 nations just living in Germany. This is huge. This is enormous. So let us pray for the gospel to go out to all the people in Germany, both Germans and immigrants. In Jesus' name, let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we lift up Germany to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to go to enjoy it. Father, we ask you to make the church to arise. Father, open the eyes, the spiritual eyes of the church, Lord, that they will see Osiam, the secret that is coming in Osiam, Germany, that go to enjoy they will share the gospel also with the Lord in the name of Jesus. Oh, it's on a mic. Father, we pray for the Father, we pray for the Father, we pray for the Oh, yes. Father, we pray for the Father, we pray for the Father, we pray for the Father, we pray Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that we lift up all the Muslims, all the people from different faiths in Germany to you. We ask that you will visit them in the night. We ask that you will show them your glory, your riches, your glory, your might, and your power. We pray that they shall come into the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Sorry for the mute there. Pastor Light, thank you very much for having the opportunity to share the, the notes. Will be available for those on the group uh, of Pastor Light. He will send it. Otherwise, I've put my personal email in the chat. 
if you want the notes for this morning and evening and you're not on this group, you can ask me personally. Thank you, Pastor Light, over to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Estelle. It's always a pleasure to sit under your ministration. The Lord bless you and continue to strengthen you. Um, she will continue in the evening, same time. And uh, I want us to take this last prayer before we share the grace. And that is day number 11 has a portion. Every of the 21 days, there is something special God wants to unleash, wants to dispatch, wants to deliver, wants to impact that we help you on the journey to divine settlement, divine establishment, divine perfection, divine, you know, uh, strengthening. I want you to stretch forth your hands this morning and receive your own portion. That is a portion flowing from heaven to your life, to your spirits, to your spirit. I want you to ask God to establish in you that which is destined to happen in you as you embark on this fast today. For those who are in Africa, those in different parts of the world, you know your own timing. Lord, let the best, the best for today be delivered to me. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive today the fullness of today's portion, the fullness of the blessing of today, the fullness of the grace of today, the fullness of the anointing of today. Today, the Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to the revelation. I receive the anointing of this day, Father, in the name of Jesus. I receive the of the I receive the anointing of the grace of the day. In particular, I receive the oil of the day. I receive the fullness of the Lord. I receive the strength of today in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. The God of all grace. The God of all grace. The God of all grace. We come to you with the God of all grace. You are all of us today. We receive the grace of today. We receive the download of grace today. We receive the download of the grace of today. We receive the download of the grace of today. We receive the download of the grace of today. We receive the receive of the grace of today. I receive it, Lord. The revelation of the revelation of the family, Lord. I receive it, Father. In the name of Jesus, everything that we have for the church, Lord. I receive everything that we have for the church, Lord. I receive it, Father. The illumination that I made for today. The instruction that are made for today, the covenant that is made for today, the new anointing that is made for today, the fresh oil that is made for today, the beauty that is made for today, the impartation that is made for today, the inspiration that are made for today, the anointing that is ordered for today. Lord, I give great, I give great the open doors that are made for today, the open doors, the open doors, the open doors of today. I receive it. 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 I receive Thank you for the judgment that must be executed against wickedness. The judgment that must be executed in different waters in order to unleash us, deliver us from every trap of suffering. The trap, the prison of suffering, which you said, after you've suffered for a while, the Lord will perfect you, the Lord will establish, the Lord will strengthen, the Lord will settle. Whatever force of darkness, force of wickedness that want your children to remain in the place of suffering, in the place of 
their, their, their prison, their entanglement, families, oh. ministries, organizations, individuals in their body, soul, and spirit in every aspect of their life. Father, I decree that there will be an intervention of the hand of the Most High. You let mm -hmm. your hand intervene to execute your righteous judgment in order to unleash your people, release your mm -hmm. people, free your people, free your people, right. emancipate right. your people from every trap, right. from every right. entanglement, from every right. restraint, right. from every right. obstacle, right. from every hindrance, <laughs> from every <laughs> limitation, <laughs> so that we Zika. divine in no. help, divine help, divine help, we will all rise out of our pit, we step out of our prison, we step out of our of comfort zone, we step up out of our limitation into the realm of glory, the realm of glory. For you said to us, you have called us unto your eternal glory, unto your eternal glory. Father, mm -hmm. we thank you. Thank you, mighty God, for the call to receive these five crowns, the crown of life, the crown, the incorruptible crown, the crown of righteousness, the, 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 the crown of glory, and the crown of rejoicing. Lord, we shall not miss these crowns. We shall not miss these crowns. Grant us the grace, the strength, the discipline, the stamina to receive these crowns, these crowns and these rewards which are preserved for different people who have played different role in the advancement of the kingdom of God globally. Father, let no help us that no man will take our crown of life, no man will take Amen. our crown of righteousness, no man will take our the incorruptible crown, the imperishable crown that is prepared yes. for those who will deny themselves and persistently press forward into your divine Amen. agenda. Lord, help us that no one Amen. will take the crown of glory which are prepared for those who will shepherd the flock sacrificially sacrificially, lawfully, mm -hmm. sacrificially, and lawfully, and patiently, God, help us to stand strong until this crown becomes our portion. Even mm -hmm. this crown of rejoicing okay. that are meant for soul winners, that are meant for soul winners. Father, no one shall take my own crown. No mm -hmm. one shall Amen. take the crown of any of these men and women. Help us, my God, that we, <clears throat> with all tenacity, with all dedication, with all devotion, will insist in winning the lost, in saving the Lord, yes. in preparation yes. for the crown of righteousness and the crown of joy, the crown of rejoicing and the crown of joy that is meant for soul winners. Help us, O oh God, help us, yes. O oh God, to persist, to persist, to persist in godliness, in righteousness, against all odds, against all pressure, to stand yes. strong that we might receive all that you prepared for us. Be thou glorified. Thank you for opening our eyes today to know that if only in this world we are hoping we are of all men most miserable, there is reward that is eternal, yes. there are crowns that are eternal, there are rewards that are eternal, there are glories that are beyond this earthly glory, glories that are beyond this earthly glory. God of heaven, keep our eyes on them, keep our eyes on them, that as we pursue the eternal glory, you will also establish us in material blessings, financial blessings, health blessing, every form of earthly blessing, as well as eternal rewards and glory that awaits them that will be faithful unto the end. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Servant of God, I want to say congratulations for being part of this feast this morning. It's going to take a new dimension in the evening. Please don't miss it. Remember, as you are fasting, it is not just to keep away from food. The reason why you're keeping yourself from food and legitimate pleasure is that you might spend more time in his presence by studying the scriptures, listening to worship, listening to the word of God, listening to ministrations. Every of our ministrations are in our YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Global Harvest Prayer Network. Subscribe so that whenever our videos are put up there, you will get a signal. So please get it and watch it. Send it to your friends. Connect your friends, relations, colleagues to watch. So much have been downloaded in this, uh, you know, from this altar that can revolutionize somebody's life as they listen to those messages. God bless you. See you this evening again 
and God will establish that which he has planned. The devil will not distract you. You will not fail in the name of Jesus. Once again, thank you, my dear friend, Estelle. The Lord bless you. Extend my love to your dear husband, brother Daniel. And um, please, everyone here, by the grace of God, uh, if you have not given us your number, if we don't have your number, please go to the chat box and put your name and your number, your name and your number, so that we can put you in the group and you will have access to some of the materials that are to be delivered. The Lord bless you and cause his face to shine upon you and make you the testimony of 2023. The testimony of 2023. The man, the woman whose story will cause people to shed tears of joy because you have become the display figure that God is faithful and is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 The grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Lord of God, rest and abide in our hearts now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Amen.